Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Governor Ron DeSantis says a woman who's a California resident has a presumptive case of the coronavirus. She's currently being isolated in Florida. We're told she traveled to Italy with her sister. Her sister is the Hillsborough County patient who the CDC confirmed as one of two positive cases in the Bay Area. Florida considers a case presumptive positive based on testing at one of the state's three labs, but then must wait for confirmation from the CDC. Quarantine completed. 127 people have finally been released from Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. That includes a local couple, Phil and Gay Quarter. They're from Crystal River and finally back home. They were in quarantine for almost a month after the coronavirus outbreak on the Diamond Princess cruise ship. A daredevil from Sarasota is getting ready to take on one of his most dangerous feats yet. Nick Melinda will walk over one of the most volatile and dangerous volcanoes in the world, the Messiah Volcano. He'll be 1,000 feet in the air, walking on an 1,800 foot wire, just over an inch thick. The lava below boiling at over 2,000 degrees. You can watch a live two hour special at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night, right here on your ABC Action News Station. And now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing everybody looking at scattered showers back in the forecast later Thursday into Friday, but until then it's all about the heat returning highs in the 80s, some fog first thing in the morning. That definitely could be an issue both Wednesday and Thursday morning and cooler air returns by part of the weekend. All right, thanks Dennis. Don't forget you get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and remember to download our free ABC Action News app.